Hi guys, welcome back to Data Every Day. Um, today we're looking at a data set of SUVs. Um, and this data set was sort of uh, uh, created for the purposes of predicting whether or not a customer will purchase the SUV based on their gender, age, and salary. Um, but what we're going to do is actually use each one of these four columns as a target to predict. So in every case, we'll use one of the columns as the target and the other three as the features. Uh, we're not using the user ID, obviously, because they're all unique values. So let's hop into the notebook. Um, we're going to use NumPy and Pandas for working with the data. And um, I want to try to build this all in one function. So I'm going to try to make one function that can uh, you pass in whatever target you'd like to predict, and it will process accordingly. So for this, we're going to use the train test split function uh, from sklearn, a function transformer, column transformer, and pipeline. Um, and our models, we'll use tree models today, decision trees. So we have decision tree regressor and decision tree classifier. And we're going to use uh, whichever one we need, depending on what type of column we're trying to predict. So you'll notice I don't have a scaler today. Um, you don't really, you don't need to scale tree models, uh, the data being passed into tree models. Um, it does not affect the performance, so we're not going to scale. Let's go ahead and import everything uh, and load in the data using pandas.readcsv. So we get the file path up here. I'm going to copy that and paste it in so we can have a look. And this is just what we saw on the other page. Uh, we get a little more information with data.info. We only have 400 rows, no missing values, um, and only a single object column. So that's why we're going to use the function transformer to encode this. Now, we could do this with an ordinal transformer as well, uh, an ordinal encoder. What that would do is basically we just map one value to zero, the other to one, which would suffice for sure, but I just wanted to show you guys how to use the function transformer, so let's do that. I'll build the model pipeline in a single function. Now, in reality, I probably wouldn't actually want it in a function like this. Uh, if I was pr creating a model, I'd want to have a little more control uh, over the steps, so I don't want to just run it through a single function. But for our purposes, we will do that. I will pass in data frame, which will always be data. Um, we'll specify a target and we'll specify a type of task. The task is just going to be regression or classification, depending on what kind of the uh, target variable it is. All right, so we'll start off by creating a copy of the data frame so we don't modify in place. And the first thing we can do is just drop the ID column, because we we're never going to need that. Uh, the user ID column pretty useless for our purposes. So df equals df.drop uh, user ID from access one. And let's for now, we'll just return df so we can see the results down here. Uh, so I'll call it x preprocess. No, it's called uh, predict on raw data. So I called it this because it's not just going to preprocess it; it's going to run it through the model as well. So we pass in data. Our target we don't have to specify one right now, so I'll just leave it as none, and the task can be none as well. All right. So this is just so we can see what we're doing here. We've dropped the user ID column, and then what I want to do is split uh, the data frame. Whoops split df into x and y, where y is what we're trying to predict. So the prediction uh, column is given by target. So I'll just take the target column, store that in y, and then x is all the rest of the data. So we'll drop target from axis 1. Let's return x and y now and get them back over here. Uh, so, oh, we have a problem. Oh, yeah. So we, now we have to specify a target because we're actually using it. So let's make the target gender. Then you'll see uh, gender has been sent to y. So this is what we're trying to predict, and we we'll use these three to predict on it. Let's say we change gen, uh, we change the target to age. Then uh, age is now our y, and the other three columns are used, being used to predict. The last thing we sort of have to deal with here is to worry about this gender column. If the gender is being used as the target, uh, this is fine because we have fully numeric data. It's OK for sklearn models if the target is text labels like this. But if we are working with uh, text within our inputs, that's not going to work. The, the model will not be able to use this as input. So we are going to have to uh, consider the case where we have gender as a feature. Let's do that here. We'll, we'll uh, build the pipeline. And I'll, what I'll do is build the gender encoder outside, uh, just right here. I'll say, uh, well, what we should do is use a function transformer. Function transformer 
is a uh, an sklearn transformer that allows you to pass your own function and to be applied uh, to every column of whatever data frame you fit it on. So if that's a bit confusing, uh, what I mean is um, when we call the transform the fit or transform function of the function transformer, we're passing in a data frame, and then whatever function we specify here, I'll use a lambda function, um, will be applied column wise to the data frame. So each x here, well actually let's call it column so we understand what's happening. Uh, this represents a single column of the data frame. And for each column, we're going to change column into column.replace female sending to 0, male sending to 1. So the only time we'll ever use this is if we're using it on the gender column alone. So even though we're mapping this to every column, we're really going to be passing in a data frame with a single column, so we don't have to worry. Um, so here, you can see uh, the replace function is mapping all the female values to 0, all the male values to 1. Uh, this order doesn't matter, we just have to pick 1 to send to 0, 1 to send to 1. And that should be good. So what I want to do is take this function transformer and actually put it into its own pipeline so that we can uh, select which columns to apply this to using a column transformer. So I'll call this the binary encoder. So that's what it is. But I'll, I'll wrap it in a pipeline. The only step in the pipeline is uh, this thing I'll call it function and it contains that. Alright, so that's our binary encoder. Now what it'll do is create a column transformer that just tells the model which columns to target with the binary encoder. So this takes in some transformers. In this case it's just one which will be our binary transformer. So I'll pass in the binary encoder, and then we specify the, tar the uh, columns we'd like to target. This will only be gender. We'll always just target gender with this. There's no other usage of this. All right, and then I also want to make sure in here to write uh, remainder equals pass through. Uh, this means that um, if, if you don't have this, whatever columns are targeted with the column transformer, will pass through, but the remainder, the other columns, won't. So we have to make sure to keep this so that all the columns, even if they are not modified, will come through. Um, and let's call this preprocessor. And then what we'll do, so we have our our, uh, our preprocessing section, which is only going to be used in the case where gender is a feature. So we'll say, if the target is gender, then we're not going to use this stuff. Then we'll just create the model to be a decision tree. So it's going to be a decision tree regressor. If the task, which we specify up here, is regression, and otherwise, uh, it will be a decision tree classifier. I forgot the parentheses here, though. All right. Now, if the target is not gender, that means gender is in the features, then we're going to need to use these. So in that case, our model becomes a pipeline whose steps are the preprocessor we created. And then we'll pass in the model. So I'll just copy this in. We'll call this, uh, uh, what could I call it? I don't want to call it model, because we called this model. Uh, class, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll call it mod. Uh, and then I'm passing this in. So. Uh, if it's if we're dealing with gender as the target, we don't need to preprocess. We just create the model, and if we're not dealing with gender, then we need to just preprocess that gender column, uh, like so, and then it will pass that output into the model. All right, we're almost done here. Um, now let's fit the model. So at the end of this, we'll either have one of these models or one of these models. So we'll just call model model dot fit on. Oh, and then we actually need X train and Y train. So let's do our train test split up here. Train test split. So we'll create X train, X test, Y train, and Y test using the train test split function from sklearn. Pass in X and Y. Give, uh, well, we'll specify a train size first. Let's send 70% to the train set. Turn shuffle equals true on. It's on by default, but just keep it on. Uh, and then give it a random state so we can ensure the shuffle is always done in the same way. And then these four sets of data, I'm actually going to use, I'm going to fit it on X train, Y train, and then uh, return the result of scoring the model on X test, Y test. 
So we're going to fit on next train y train, and then get the results. Uh, so we'll call result model dot score x test y test, and then return result. So um, in the case of a regression task, the score function will return the r squared score. And in the case of a classification task, the score function will return the accuracy. So uh, we will get different, uh, different uh, results depending on what our task is here. All right, let's run this. And let us, yeah, we can just go straight to the results. All right, so this is all we had to do for the pipeline. Now, uh, for the results, what I'm going to do is separate this into classification and regression. So for classification, um, we're going to need to do this. Uh, well, there's four values in total, gender, age, estimated salary, and the purchased column at the end. So let's do gender first. We just call predict on raw data, which is uh, this, this function. Pass in data as the, data, as the DF. Um, then we pass in a target. The target here will be gender and a task, which is going to be classification because uh, gender is a categorical variable. And let's store, this will return the accuracy of the model. So let's uh, store that in gender ac. And what we'll do is copy this over and do the same thing for the other classification task, which is the estimated, no, sorry, the purchased column. So our target becomes purchased. A task is still classification, but now let's call this purchased, uh, purchased ac. All right, now regression. Um, so for regression, we're getting the R squared scores. So we're going to call predict on raw data, data, target here. Let's do age first, and the task is regression. And this returns R squared, so let's store it in age R2 copy this over and the other one the last one is salary so we'll call the salary r2 the target is estimated salary that's also a regression task all right and this should get us um, all of the all of our uh, day, all of our results so we have two accuracy values two r squared scores let's go and print them out so let's print out the target name uh, so we'll do gender first and this is uh, this is an accuracy score, so I'll just write that. And we'll display it to two decimal places as a percent a percentage. So we format with gender ac, and I'll multiply it by 100 since it's a uh, percent. Then we'll copy this over. This will also be accuracy. We're doing it for purchased. And this just becomes purchased ac. All right, I'll just print a new line. Uh, and then we will print out the regression ones. So age is our target, which is going to return R squared. And let's display these to four decimal places, with, uh, not as a percent, just as a score. Format with age R2. We're not multiplying by 100 for these. Then we'll copy it over. The last one to do is salary. So this is estimated salary. Uh, and just change this to salary R2. All right, let's see. So here are the results. Actually, not liking that new line so much. <laughs> uh, all right, so we have 45% accuracy for the gender prediction using the other three, 85% purchase prediction using the other three, a 0.31 R squared score for age using the other three, and a negative 0.3353 uh, for estimated salary. So it looks like our best model, I mean, it's hard to compare because we're dealing with two different kinds of models. Um, this is accuracy, this is R squared, so it's really not saying the same thing. Um, but, you know, but this isn't a, a fantastic R squared score, where this accuracy is actually looking pretty good. Uh, and I don't think we're dealing with a, too much of a class imbalance here. So, you know, I'm not going to go full into the uh, um, analysis today, but it's looking like our worst model was the estimated salary which has a negative R squared score, which means it's, it's not even better than predicting the mean salary. It's actually slightly worse. All right, so um, that will sum up today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more content and leave any comments you have in the section below. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.